Tonight on the East Texas News, the proposed Senate health care plan would lower funding for Medicaid. We talked to local specialists about the potential cap to substance abuse funding. Plus, an East Texas man drove off in an ambulance in Longview today. We'll have what led up to the chase. Several Austin police officers have been hospitalized after using their own equipment that exposed them to high levels of carbon monoxide. The details are coming up. And a ropes course designed to build future leaders is partnering with Angelina College. Your East Texas News at 6 begins right now. Caring, committed, proud of East Texas. You're watching KTRE 9 News. Good evening to you, East Texas, and thank you for being with us this Wednesday night. Our top story. U.S. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced yesterday the Senate will be extending this session into August. This is in large part of their efforts to repeal Obamacare. Our Haley Squires explored how the proposed replacement would negatively affect the opioid crisis here in East Texas. The the Senate will be revealing the newest version of their health care bill tomorrow. Those currently struggling with drug addiction can explore their options through ADAC in the Burke Mental Health Emergency Center. A 62-year-old Chester man is going to prison for six years after pleading guilty to attacking two deputies back in February. Roy Johnson kicked a deputy who was arresting him for a criminal trespass. He then assaulted a jailer while he was being booked into jail. Johnson was being arrested because he broke into the home of his neighbor. When deputies came to the scene, they found Johnson back at his home where he made a reference to a sand pit blowing up, then ran to a shed. The Angelina County Sheriff's Office has filed a new charge against a man who threatened to kill his twin girls. Christopher Dwyer now faces a charge of sexual assault. The victim claims Dwyer sexually assaulted her in February of 2016. Dwyer is now being held in the Angelina County Jail on the sexual assault charge, two counts of endangering a child, prohibited weapon, and terroristic threat. While no bail has been set for the new charge, his bail on the old charges total $80,000. What started as a criminal trespass call ended with a stolen ambulance. A patient taken to Good Shepherd Hospital in Longview walked out of the emergency room and drove off in an ambulance. Our Jamie Boyant was on the scene moments after he was taken into custody. According to the Longview Fire Department, the ambulance was left running while paramedics were in the hospital. Longview Fire will be reviewing their policy about leaving unattended ambulances running. The military plane that crashed in western Mississippi this week, killing all 16 troops on board, left two impact sites. That's according to Marines General Bradley James. The KC-130 was headed from North Carolina to Arizona when it crashed Monday night. The Marine Corps says small arms ammunition and other weapons were on board at the time. Today, we learned that 31-year-old Sergeant Joshua Snowden, a Dallas Marine, is among the 16 servicemen killed. Officials are still surveying the crash scene, looking for clues of what may have caused the crash. Police officers in Austin are reportedly facing a hazard that is unrelated to crime. The Austin Police Association says patrol vehicles are emitting high levels of carbon monoxide, resulting in hospitalizations. In the last six days, the Austin Police has reported five officers exposed to toxins in their patrol SUVs. Austin Police Association President Ken Cassidy says one sergeant poisoned in his patrol car in March suffered severe neurological damage and may never work again. From what I the Austin Police Department is working to come up with short and long term solutions. As of now, the department has reportedly pulled 30 vehicles from its fleet. A detective became an organ donor in one life saving effort for one of Smith County's finest. Detective Sherman Dollison was shot multiple times during the Smith County Courthouse shooting in 2005. He's since been plagued with medical issues as a result of his injuries and is awaiting a kidney transplant. Our Francesca Washington explains how the match he needed for surgery was just one office over. 
The Smith County Sheriff's Office is partnering with Carter Blood Care and hosting a blood drive this Friday in honor of both detectives since blood will be needed for both surgeries. This week marks the beginning of Angelina College's Summer Bridge program that's designed to empower college intending students to be the best they can be. It's called the Runner Roundup. Today was the second day which brought students outside and onto the ropes course. According to the program's creators, this day in particular is meant to strengthen confidence and create leadership and team building skills. And we had two problems. Angelina College plans on expanding the program to more than three days. Still to come on your East Texas News at 6, people are usually encouraged to report suspicious activity, but now this Texas neighborhood wants to hear more about the acts of kindness. Heat, you kind of have to balance the equation. Yeah, and I'm no weatherman, but I would highly encourage download the KTRE weather app so you don't get caught off guard by those pop-up showers. You can follow the radar and it's free. That's the my best favorite news. price. I know, exactly. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you, Brad. You in Arlington, neighbors helping neighbors is nothing new, but there is a new way that kindness is inspiring others. City officials are now inviting residents to report acts of kindness by picking up their cell phones. Bradley Blackburn has the story. Glowing screen. Still ahead, Stephen F. Austin men's head basketball coach Kyle Keller is joining a national movement to help one man's goal. That's next in sports. Tonight. All righty. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Kayla. No problem. Thank you for tuning in here at 6. We hope to see you right back here tonight at 10. Have a great night.